This is my podcast, I made it. Geek Mentality is what I named it. And I think you should listen and subscribe. Cause I'm kind of funny and awesome. I think that I'm worth your time. And I'm kind of handsome. My mom says, please listen and please subscribe. At least listen to this episode. Hello there, everybody. It's been a little while since I've done an episode, but I wanted to talk about something um, that's kind of new, you know, uh, kind of current, um, and I thought this would be a good opportunity to kind of talk about Fear of the Walking Dead. Now, I love Walking Dead, okay? I know some people had some problems with the uh, with the finale episode, the cliffhanger, the episode itself. I, I didn't have any problem with it. I don't understand what the point of television is if it's not to keep you on the edge of your seat and tell you what's going to, you know, make you feel like you need to know what's going to happen next. It's what brings you back for more. So I have no problem with the uh, Walking Dead season finale. But that's over with. That's done with. That's not what this episode is about. Is about. This episode is about fear of the Walking Dead. The Walking Dead spinoff. There's been two episodes already that have aired for the second season. And I wanted to wait to see at least two episodes to kind of talk about it. I have a kind of like-hate relationship with this show. Not love-hate. There's no love with this for this show. There's some like. There's some hate. Um, I started the first season. I, I, I wrote a post on it uh, for fans.experts.com. And I was like, I'm ready to fear The Walking Dead. I really enjoyed the first episode. I like the idea of figuring out what's going on. What, you know, this kind of, you know, with Walking Dead, it's like, Life started, or life was going on, and then, boom, we wake up with, uh, with Rick, and we're in the middle of the zombie apocalypse, and we kind of learn a little bit here and there about what's going on um, as Rick learns about it. But with Fear of the Walking Dead, we're learning uh, as kind of everybody learns. It's brand new for everybody. And that's what I thought this show was really going to be about. And I watched the first five episodes of uh, Fear of the Walking Dead last year, pretty much as they aired, and the last episode just sat there on my DVR, or my tablet, let's say, um, for months, months. And finally, uh, when my wife had February vacation, I finally watched it, and I thought it was pretty good. There's a lot of zombies in it, um, and it was, you know, probably the best of the six episodes. And then Walking Dead comes back, and everybody's happy, and we watched the end of that series, and I said, okay. They've been, they've been pushing the sec- season two of The Fear of Walking Dead. A lot of water, a lot of ocean, a lot of boat. And, uh, you know, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to, uh, to watch it, give it a second chance. And, and, and no matter what, I'm going to watch every episode. That's, that's, let's be perfectly clear. I'm not giving up on this show. I watched the first, or the first episode, and it just kind of... I don't, I guess, I only watched the, the season finale a couple months ago. And I felt like they left off where, where, you know, they said, look, there's a boat. We can take it, right? Isn't that where we left off? And then it kind of picked up where they're on the beach and there's, they're bombing the, the, the beach. And there's, all of a sudden there's a bunch of zombies around. And they're trying to get people back and forth to the boat. And they don't want to leave the, the kid, that, that, that whiny kid doesn't want to leave his oh, oh, squeaky door. The whiny kid does not want to leave his dead mom behind, even though she's off doing, you know, cooking for uh, Orange is the New Black so they could, you know, get rid of her. She has a show that, you know, I enjoy a lot more than this show. I'll put it that way. Um, and then the guy takes the, the, uh, the boat motor and he chops up a zombie's face. And I thought, this is great. I like this. I don't mind vicious violence to, to a zombie because people have to do what they have to do to survive. Then they go on the boat and, you know, mopey here, mopey there. Girl accidentally attracts pirates, I assume. And uh, one of the kids feels bad, so he tries to kill himself or jump off a boat. So the other kid, uh, the, the druggy kid, uh, he's not as mopey, but he, he, they, it's tough because they both have long hair. And I almost forget about whiny kid more than I do druggy kid. Don't ask me their name. No, Chris is one of the kids' names. That's all I know. Okay. Um, the other kid I call like um, wannabe uh, Riggins 
if you know what that means, which is funny because who his mom is. But that's, you know, for different people, for a different show, that is a, a million times better than this. Now, the druggy guy jumps off the boat to save the Chris kid. And he's just kind of floating. And then as, uh, someone's floating towards him and it's a zombie. And that was kind of dumb. And then he hears something. So he, you know, he's a 17-year-old uh, dope head. And he thinks, I'm going to swim under the boat to to look for somebody. I thought maybe somebody was trapped, someone was alive. It wasn't. It was a zombie who kind of attacked him, then kind of let him go. It seemed weird. And he thought, you know what? I'm going to grab the the uh, the boat log, the ship's, you know, captain's log, whatever the hell it is. Who does that? Who thinks that? Who thinks I have to, I have to risk my life to, to get this boat, to get this book back to my people? And of course, they read the book and they learn everything they need to know. Um, that's in the second episode. That annoyed me. Uh, okay, they saw people that needed help. They couldn't help them, or they chose not to help them. That was interesting. That that you you see, okay, you know, people are starting to come to grips with, you know, there are people out there. Should we be helping them? Should we not be helping them? Um, and then they come across another boat where I guess it's those same pirates. Maybe I don't know who shot the shit out of the boat, drilled a, a, a ton of holes in it, killed a ton of people already. I was talking to somebody at work and it's like, well, basically it's just the walking dead now. And uh, she was right. It's like, I felt like we were going to see the beginning of something and already we're just kind of seeing another group of people in the zombie apocalypse. That leads me to episode two to hide from the pirates. They dock on this little Island where they happen to see, where they happen to see a life flash. And so they see there's these people out there. There's a family out there on an Island. Now, it can't just be a normal family. It can't be. It's impossible. It has to be psycho family because that's how television works, right? You can't just pull up and have nice people and then maybe somebody else, maybe the pirates show up and that's the trouble. No, you have to have trouble on the ocean. You have to have trouble on land. So they show up to these psycho people. The, one, the mother is from The Shield. If you remember The Shield, she was one of the, the cops on The Shield. Um, the dad I don't recognize, but you know, he's a ranger. He was, he was helpful. He's like, here's a book. Uh, you know, I've been, you know, checking in with other ranger stations. So we're learning that, 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 um, we're losing, you know, ranger stations and, and things are just going offline and, and things are being lost. Okay. That's interesting. Then we learn out of nowhere that the, the druggy boy kind of just searching around. Oh, one of the kids says, I take my power pills to fight from the dead people. So one of the, uh, the, the druggy kid finds a, a, a little container filled with pills, which he, he can just tell right away that these are pills to, to kill themselves. And he knows what Jonestown means because what 17-year-old uh, uh, dopehead doesn't know what Jonestown is. I think that's what he said. So that was a little strange. Um, now this, this mother's like, I don't like, I'm not, I don't feel safe here. Take my children, take my children. And they're like, we can't take your children. We need to leave. Yada, yada, yada. So all of a sudden, you realize that they're kind of this weird survivalist family that are cut off from the outside, but they're close enough to some island or some cove, I didn't quite get it, where the dead people can start washing up and, you know, coming to attack them. I'd feel pretty safe on an island, but for some reason they're not. Or, I, I you know, part of me lost some of it. I don't know. I was kind of getting annoyed by the show. So... Where was I? So the kid, so we, we then find out that one of the kids accidentally takes the power pills and dies. And the mother starts freaking out. But, but unbeknownst to all these people that you don't have to catch a virus. There is no virus. Or if there's a virus, everybody already has it. Because this kid dies, boom, she come, the little kid comes back as a zombie, eats her mother's face, boom. Uh, the father says, get the kid out of here, get him out of here. And we cut away from that. Okay, my assumption is he kills the um, the kid, and he kills the mother. But he doesn't understand, or the mother's dead. But he doesn't understand. This guy, this guy thinks there's a virus. So, okay, it's kind of making sense now. But it was there was a big loophole here, or a big a big leap I had to take. So this guy, our 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 heroes, the people we know, leave the kid who was eating her mother, and the father behind run out to the boat with the other kid 
And there's an older son with a rifle who shows up and says, you're not taking my brother, blah, blah, blah. So they give the little kid back, whatever. Who cares? Sorry. You made your own bed, little family. The strange thing that I got that happened next was they turn around and there's the mother walking down the dock like a zombie. So at first I thought, what the hell happened? The guy left the baby, the kid and the wife. And all of a sudden the wife's walking out there. So what the hell happened? He didn't kill the mother because he, she, maybe he was trying to save her, but all of a sudden she's just already out on the deck chasing, you know, as a zombie following them. That's the first place she went walking down the hall. What happened to the dad? What happened with that whole thing? Where's if, if dad's dead too, where's dad zombie? It was, uh, like a, something felt missing and it really annoyed me. And, you know, we, they, the boat takes off and the last thing we see is the older brother kills the mother, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? That family's done and gone. It's like an issue of a comic book where you, you see these side, this side family and they're here and then they're gone. But it just was, it served zero purpose except for, I guess, okay, I'm going to try to make to see that it served a purpose. Number one, it showed that the little girl died and came back as a zombie. So maybe they'll say, hey, you don't even have to have some virus. You could just die and come back. Number two, uh, it served that they know that certain areas are kind of lost, that they're trying to go to San Diego. So that's the two things it served. And B, it already served that you can't have a zombie apocalypse without everybody turning to friggin' psychos right away, which is... Which annoys me. I feel like there's no slow burn with this. It's like, boom, we're in a zombie show now. It's, 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 it's not learning about zombies. It's zombies. We're here. It's basically The Walking Dead again. So that bothered me a little. Um, and then there's the whole thing with the... Uh, I can't think of his name. The dude who owns the boat. The, and he, oh, dude, I try to talk like him sometimes. He's like, this is the boat we're going on. And we're going to go at my pace. Hurry up or I will leave you behind. Everything he says is very cool and very dramatic. Um, but Rambo the barber, Reuben Blades, because he's a barber, there you go. Of course, they hook up with a barber who's, who's got the skills of freaking Rambo. He breaks into a, uh, a, a locker with a knife. And I feel like he was listening, almost like he was, like he was doing a combination. Uh, I was like, what is he listening for? But okay, maybe he's trying to click the tumblers. I don't know how lock breaking works. And he finds all these maps and all this information about going to Mexico. Oh, no. Is that supposed to mean something to me? Is this supposed to be some weird, dramatic thing that he's trying to get to Mexico? And, of course, he's on the phone. Don't worry. We're on our way. I'll be there. Wherever they're going, there's some mystery with that, too. Wait, you found some strange millionaire and you went off with him? And now you're consumed with the fact that maybe he has other plans? Oh, no. I can't believe that this. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna have to sit through twelve more or eleven more episodes of this show, and the, it's not that. The, like, there's some people that I like, like uh, the main, the main star there, the guy Travis. Very likable, uh, good actor. Uh, you root for him, and you you almost wish that. Oops, abs- accidentally everybody else is dead, and it's now just Travis. And then oh, Travis uh, says I'm gonna go to the East Coast and meets Rick, and everyone's happily ever after. Of course, that's not gonna happen. These are just showing, these are just two different worlds living in the same situation. It's just that The Walking Dead started a few months earlier. Really, there's only a few months separating the beginning of The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead, right? Because Rick was in a coma for, I don't know, I'm guessing weeks, I don't remember. Uh, But when he went under, he was fine. Or the world was fine. When he came back, zombie apocalypse. So we're basically... You know, seeing what happened on within that time span. You know, further, we're, we're not going to stop. The show is not going to stop when Rick wakes up. I wish it would. And it was all a dream. But uh, that's not the case. I, and I, and then I watched, they said the Talking Dead on afterwards. And I see the guests for Talking Dead. And I'm like, oh, come on, guy. Hosier, you couldn't get on, on regular Talking Dead. You had to get on the Fear the Walking Dead, Talking Dead. And there was another guy this week, and I, I forget who it was. And I was like, ah, oh, man, you couldn't make it to the real Talking Dead on this one. I mean, oh, well. Um, look, I'm going to keep watching it. Uh, and because I have to. That's just the way 
I am. That's my problem. But I got to say, I'm, I'm not loving it this season so far. I'm borderline liking it. And, and I'm rolling my eyes. And I'm waiting to go back to work and, and, and complain about it to my coworkers. Because what else, what else do I have? Uh, I, but, what do, but what do you think? You know, if, if, you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'd love you to leave a comment below. If you're, or listening to this on YouTube, if you're listening to this over at the website, fansnotexperts.com, you can leave a comment below. It's through Facebook. Um, you can also leave me a comment on Twitter, at Geek Mentality is my Twitter handle. Uh, the website, again, is fansnotexperts.com. And, you know, you can find us on iTunes. You can find us on Stitcher. You can find us, I think, on Podbean. We're even around there. And brand new, we've just been added to Google Play Music Podcast, whatever that means. If you use Google Play Music, you can subscribe to our podcast through the app and listen to us through there. And you can hear, or listen to me, I guess. But we have other podcasts uh, on the website. If you like wrestling, we have a podcast called WrestleFania. And there's a couple little things I'm working on on the horizon that are music-based. Um, I'm, I'm an amateur musician. And by amateur, I mean big-time amateur. Um, but I like to write and record funny songs sometimes. So there might be a podcast coming for that. But again, thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to YouTube. Subscribe to the podcast. Uh, just please support us in that way. I, you know, this, this isn't a great... Uh, this isn't a show I'm looking to make money off of. This is a show I'm doing for fun. This is a website I'm doing for fun. Uh, and I ask nothing but uh, a little bit of your time. And if you want to uh, give me money, um, I'll, give you, you can, uh, I'll give you my address and you can just, you know, put money. Just, just coins. I don't like paper money. Just coins. Just put it in a, in a little, little envelope and mail it my way. I'm rambling now, really, honestly. What I'm actually doing is I'm walking around while I'm recording this, trying to get as many steps as possible. We have this Fitbit kind of steps challenge at work and I'm not you know I'm doing great in my office I'm doing better than I thought I would but um you know I'm really rambling right now so I'm gonna end it so thank you guys for listening please let me know what you think of uh, Fear the Walking Dead and please subscribe on YouTube or again any of those pod catchers and I will catch you on the flip side there's a there's another season finale that I'm gonna be watching uh, probably today, and I might be recording something on that soon. And it's about, um, you know, a certain Man of Steel's cousin. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, and, okay, I'm done. Goodbye. <laughs>